Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. And welcome back to Tim Friend's playthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand New Door BP Only Run. We have just encountered Don Pianta of the Don Pianta Syndicate, and we must now entreat upon him for him to give us a, blit a Glitzville blimp ticket. Silly me. All right, let's let's give him a voice. What what's with you, wise guy? Uh, I got gotta gentle that one up. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some noise asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this du this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him! What a rube! You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? I know I changed my voice from the last episode. I just wanted to be more distinguished from the other two Piantas, which I all kind of have the same accent in this room. Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Yes, I say hello to you. What's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped. And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Benny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. I forgot my voice for a second. I'm doing too many mafias. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You ought to find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you've got to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter with quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. I love the writing in this game so much. This is such a fun fucking scene. God, it's good. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. I'll just vocalize some images directly into your brain. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Well, that's terrifying. So I gotta find his daughter or he's threatening to do something bad to me. I mean, there's literally no other way to advance the plot, so... We'll find his daughter. We never figure out what the fucking... The unlucky shit is. The, the, the luck turning terrible, whatever. We never find out what that is. That's okay, we don't need to. It's We're just gonna fucking advance the plot. And uh, he's right. Frank and Francesca have not gotten far away. But where would you go if you were in it? If you were in Rogueport and you wanted to escape, you wanted to leave town, where would you go? It's the docks because the docks have boats. You can get on a boat and leave. Also, there's a fucking jump panel over here. God damn it! And there we go. Actual star piece. Boom. God, I love this anxious toad so much. Fucking relate. Oh, excuse me, Flurry. There we go. Big relate, Toad. Big relate to your whole deal. And look over here. Can you believe it? It's Frankie and Francesca. Hey. <clears throat> hey, back off, you creep. You want something or you just like sidling up to people? To people. I hope you like those plosives. 
What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? I can't, I can't do that voice. She has a lot of dialogue. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what it'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with a boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run. To the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the harder they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. I'm getting spit all over my fucking, my plosives god thing here on my mic. I'm just spitting all over it. I beg you, don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? No way, sub sister. What did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man. Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. He's, no, bug off. I'm not going anywhere with you. Interesting. I wonder if the dialogue is different there if you say that, yes, you will do the whatever thing. Also, who's that fucking green mouse? Who's that green mouse man? Oh, what am I going to do with this crazy dame? Yeah, he's the fucking... We're just... We're like six inches to the right of this being a fucking musical. Thankfully, it never is. What's, what's your deal, little dude? What's your deal? I gotta know. Hey, you're Mario. Uh, yes, I am. Wow, this is so cool. Never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. You want to make an investment, Mario? Uh, I don't know. My name's Lumpy. I'm heading out to dry, dry desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Can you please lend me some money? Hmm, I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. I don't have that money, my dude. Fine, whatever. Be that way. I, I mean, I would love to give you a hundred gold coins. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. I mean, yeah, uh, you know that's a fucking... It's a rhetorical device, right, Flurry? You know that? He's saying he's gonna harm us or kill us in some way. He's gonna, ki he's gonna kill us in some way. So, so that we're dead somehow uh, if we don't find his daughter. It's, it's fine. It's not like... We're, we're gonna tell him. He said an option was to just tell him where his daughter was. So we're gonna do that. Uh, yes, through here. It's like, what am I doing? We're just going back to see fucking Don Pianta. Silly me. Silly goose. If we gotta jump up these fucking stairs every time. Fucking backtrack, boys. All right. All right, what do you gotta say now? What Don Pianta says goes. But it'd just be swell if Francesca was happy too. To tell the truth, I don't want you guys to find Frankie. He and I go back. Frankie took care of me, watched over me like a brother. I owe that guy. Oh, everyone loves Frankie. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give. What you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure do. And I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Rogue Port Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait. Oh my god. These, the old people voices are destructive. I don't know how to do them without absolutely flensing my throat. Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I, I'm sorry. I truly am. Frankie. So, back you come. Head hung low and with your tail between your legs. And here they are. No, Daddy, don't hurt them. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you've got to forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah. Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. 
this is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you too. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. God, I hope this is audible. Daddy. Boss. I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of you. I don't care where. Just go. It's what you expected me to say, huh? Huh? <gasps> well, that's what I'm saying. The double twist. Go. Do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, daddy. Dad. No, wait. I mean, boss. Thank you so much, daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Yeah, you know. The Don Pianta blessing. Fucking get out of here. Do what you want. I don't care. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. Oh, he's sad. He's happy. He's happy and sad. It's cute. Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay. Am I right? Am I right? All right. Governor. Good boy, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. Oh, it's, it's fucking Paper Mario, baby. Everything gets a happy ending. Excuse me, though. I do need those blimp tickets. You, you still here? Huh. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Yeah, we got it. Oh, no. That guy's got a smile in ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. I gave you a ticket, bub, so hurry up and scram a lamb. Good luck find that, finding that dame. There's a lot of D's in there. That one doesn't flow so great off the tongue. Because the boss is who he is, you can't let people see his sensitive side, you know? But just between you and us, you made him real happy, and he's real thankful. Oh, that's cute. He fucking talk. Hey, talk to me. No matter what he says, the boss was actually worried about Francesca. Oh, babies. It's cute. I like it. I like this game, you guys. I like it. Okay, uh, next time on Tim Friend, uh, between episodes, I'm gonna run all the way fucking back to Petalburg and Hooktail Castle so I can get some fucking star pieces. And I'll show you all around Rogueport and we'll get a few more star pieces. Uh, and then maybe we can get started on the next, uh, next chapter, huh? Maybe. All right. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Uh, do everything the Taskmasters demand I ask of you. Submit, and we can finally be happy. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. Remember to consume goods. It's the only thing that is supposed to make you happy in this world. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>